In September 2023, I spent 8K on coaching, and September 2024, I spent another 10K on coaching, and in October this week, I spent another 2K on coaching. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why I did it, the benefits of doing this, and whether or not it was all worth it. If you do not know who I am already, my name is Sean Holden, and I help business owners and coaches end self-sabotage so they can show up better in business and make more money, and show up better in their personal lives for the people that they love. We have helped over 100 business owners and coaches in the last year alone. And now you know who I am, let's get into the video. So let's take you back to July 2023. My business was doing well. We were doing around 15 to 20K USD per month. Now, comparatively to friends and family, I was making a lot of money. And I just started digital nomading around Europe. Life was pretty good until I was walking around Porto Tropical Garden and I got a call from my nan saying that she needed to find 100K to pay her mortgage, otherwise she's gonna lose the house. Now business was good, but we didn't have 100K. So I said, leave it with me and I'll figure it out. Now at this point, I had no idea how I was gonna sort it. I started thinking about every single avenue. Could I take a mortgage out? Could I lend it from a friend? I just knew we had five months and that gave me a little bit of time to figure it out. Now, at this point, I didn't know how I could pull this money together without kind of getting a mortgage out and paying it off myself until I started being served these ads from this guy who told me that he had scaled his own online coaching business to 200K a month within eight months. And I thought, Nah, don't believe it. Now, of course, initially I called bullshit because I was thinking there's absolutely no way on this planet that he has scaled his own coaching business to 200K. But I was still curious and I thought, if he's saying he's done it, maybe there's a way I can do it too. Now, again, still very unsure about whether this guy was kind of lying or not. I started consuming a lot of his content. I started consuming testimonials of his clients that he had helped to scale to 30K, 50K, and even 100K. And I started thinking, well, maybe if this guy has helped these people, maybe he can help me too. So I jumped on a call, told him my situation with my nan, and I said, I need this to work because this is my only hope. So I paid him 8K on the call, in the hope that it could work. And I had a few holidays lined up and a few other commitments. So I thought, right, let me kind of go away and do those bits and pieces. And then I can come back in the next four to six weeks and get things kicked off. Because my thinking behind that was the coaching has been paid for. It's there. It's ready once I'm ready. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I did. Now around four to six weeks after I'd initially paid him the AK, we had our first call. And on that call, he literally told me and showed me what to do. I did it. And then within the first four weeks of starting the program, I literally made the investment back. It was at that point I was like, ah, okay, this stuff works. Anyway, I got back from Cape Town in December and I just then continued to work hard until February and my thinking behind this was, let me just work as hard as I can to help my nan with the whole mortgage issue. Now, this was only possible because I took a leap of faith. I invested in myself, I invested in my future, and I invested in my business. Now, when I started telling people that I paid 8K, they couldn't kind of get their head around it. They couldn't kind of see past that I was paying 8K. But for me, I was paying for knowledge, I was paying for skills, I was paying for resources. Even when I told them, hey, I made the AK back within four weeks, they were still shocked. I remember telling my nan, don't worry nan, I've just paid AK to learn ads from a guy on the internet to pay for your mortgage. And her face was a picture. And I remember her saying, is it a scam? Is it real? Well, <laughs> she certainly found out later when we managed to sort her whole mortgage out for her that it was in fact real. Anyway, that was September last year. Since then, I spent a further 10K with this coach because it was a mastermind in Marbella. And now I'm about to head to another mastermind in Arizona. Now, you're here because you wanna know kind of why I spent 20K on coaching. Well, you now know why I did the initial 8K. So let me talk to you about why I spent another 12K on coaching. So I wanna kind of firstly drive something home People hire a coach for one of two reasons. 
there's a problem that they have, but they don't want, or there's a goal that they want, but they don't have. That's it. Literally, that is it. Now, when I hired my coach, the problem was that I needed money fast. And what I actually had was simply a skill gap. It was a knowledge gap on how to make a lot more money in a much shorter time frame. So that's what you're paying when it comes to this type of coaching. Skills, knowledge, tools, resources to get from where you are to where you want to be much quicker. Now, could I have figured this out all on my own without a coach? 100%. It would have just taken me a hell of a lot longer to make it happen. Honestly, it probably would have taken me maybe a year or longer. Who knows? But ultimately, I didn't have that time. So that's why I invested that money initially. Then the next 10K was pretty much a no-brainer as it was an in-person mastermind in Marbella. You see, as a coach and a business owner, entrepreneurship can be quite lonely, to be transparent with you. And whilst being a part of the online community, I started to truly realize the power of paying for proximity. For me, I was part of this online community which literally gave me access to six and seven figure business owners, and this in of itself was huge. So when the opportunity presented itself to meet with these people in person, I was going to be there irrespective of the investments. And to tell you the truth, it was worth 20K, never mind 10K. But I'll record a separate video another time if you would like me to share what my kind of main lessons and takeaways were from that particular mastermind. Just comment down below lessons and I'll make that happen over the next couple of weeks. So anyway, came back from mastermind in September and honestly, just kind of realized, oh, okay, I'm not as good as I think I am. Now, what I mean by that is there was so much to learn, so many different avenues of progression. And again, it was just for me, it just showed me that there's levels to the game. And the best thing about kind of being surrounded by these people is that they show you truly what is possible. Now we do pretty well in business, you know, but when you've got people there who are doing double and quadruple what you're doing when it comes to revenue, that kind of comes with its own set of problems. You know, recruitment, training, further leadership, you're essentially stepping into a version of yourself that you've never been before. Again, there's levels to the game. Now, I honestly mean this when I say this. I wanna preface this by saying I don't have children, nor am I married but Marbella was probably one of, if not the most insightful weeks of my life, which of course means as soon as I realized there was another opportunity to head to Arizona for another in-person mastermind, it was a no-brainer. The tickets for me to actually get there are more expensive than the mastermind itself, so that tells you all you need to know. Flights were 2K, the mastermind ticket was $2,000, then the VIP day was $1,000, and of course, I'll be going to that. So I guess you could potentially say I've spent a lot more than 20K on coaching. And was it worth it? Absolutely. So that's everything. If there's anything more you'd like to know, let me know in the comment section. If you wanna learn more about how I use this knowledge that I gain from the coaching to scale my own coaching business to 50K a month, then go and watch this video next and I'll break that down for you.